Corndog.com, and we're here at the uh, NVIDIA and Vision 2008 Visual Computing Conference in San Jose, California. Now, most of what's going on around me has to do with PC computing, laptop computing, gaming, uh, all kinds of crazy interactive stuff, 3D stuff. There's a huge gaming section downstairs with a, a big LAN party, all kinds of stuff. But tucked away here, we found what we were looking for NVIDIA's Tegra platform. It's uh, their play, they announced in their keynote yesterday, or not announced, but they talked in their keynote yesterday about how they're looking to move into the smartphone market. So we're going to see if we can get a demo of what they've got going on with Tegra right now. Let's check it out. So this device is the APX, the Tegra APX 2500 development platform. Uh, we give this device to our customers so they can do their own hardware and software development um, for their own devices. Uh, this is a custom 3D user interface designed by NVIDIA. Um, the really cool thing about this interface is that it's uh, fully hardware accelerated. So as you'll see, we've got lots of great little uh, 3D effects going on in this. It's very smooth. It's unlike, you know, unlike some of the uh, UIs are a little jerky. And this is a very smooth system. Um, through here, you can see we, we call this a, like a, a, a carousel type design. So there's lots of applications hiding behind this. There's an image browser. Um, there would be actual movies. Um, we have uh, an Opera web browser here. Can, can I interrupt you for one second? Sure. The movie that you were showing, that's playing back as you're scrolling? This is a full HD movie running inside a window within the 3D UI. What's extremely cool about it is we can just tap on this and we can make it full screen. What's even cooler is via an HDMI connector going in here, we can actually then drive this into a full size display. I gotta step way back so you can see this, but but this is live. I mean, this isn't a production unit yet. It's a development unit, like you said. You can see but, me changing it on the actual device. I go back to the UI. But that's for real. It's HDMI out, driving full HD, and this is 720p or this is 720p. Okay. Correct. And again, full screen. And back up to the device. So it's all what he's doing. It's driving the the full HD, Absolutely. the eight million inch TV set here. <laughs> So what's really cool about this, you can, this is a, a portable HD movie device. You can take this to a friend's house, plug it into their TV, watch whatever you've got. Um, we actually have full HD encode and decode, so it means you can actually capture so devices that will use this chip, will be able to capture video in high definition and then play it back as well. So it's not just pre-baked movies or actual sort of bought movies, but this is talking about your own user-generated so, content. So the, pla well. the platform, the, the, I'm going to get my nomenclature wrong here, but the, the chipset, the platform that you guys built, Correct. has support for uh, you know, for a camera, for a camcorder, but Absolutely. video capture. Absolutely. We support up to 12 megapixel on the camera sensor, um, and yeah, it's full 720p video. Great. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And any idea when we might see something like this in the marketplace? So we're expecting the first phones to hit the market around the middle of next year. Um, there is a slightly longer development time typically with phones as compared to some of the other um, areas you see around us. Sure. Um, but uh, yes, these devices will start hitting around the middle of next year in, in, in smartphones. And we're obviously talking to a lot of other businesses as well, such as MIDs, um, GPS devices, personal media players. There's lots of potential markets. Any device that has a very tight power constraint but wants to deliver a rich media experience, the Tegra computer on chip products are a great solution right. for that. Well, if, if, you, uh, if you work with the carriers, don't let them screw up your UI, because that looks good. Yeah, I mean, this, it's, it's to, nice. to, to be able to have this, and you'll notice that when we actually scroll around, this image doesn't kind of get stuck and the carousel moves behind it. It's fully, you know, it's, it's, it's in there the whole time. Yep. Very, very stable. Now, Forrest Whitaker's never looked so good. It's impressive. <laughs> All right, so this is the NVIDIA Tegra, and tell me again, the APX. Uh, this is the Tegra APX 2500 applications processor or computer on chip for mobile phones. Very cool. You're, uh, you're looking at the future here, kids. We're live at NVIDIA Envision 2008.